Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Bing AI and do a quick walkthrough of Bing search. First, go to bing.com and click on the learn more button to join the waitlist for Bing AI. There's no confirmed release date for Bing AI as of the recording of this video, so this is the only way to get it currently. You will be asked to sign into Bing using your Microsoft account. If you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up or you can use a GitHub login. Once you're signed in, you'll be asked if you want to access Bing faster. You can get fast tracked for Bing and move up the waitlist if you do the following things. First, set Microsoft defaults on your PC. This will make Microsoft Edge your default browser. Get to know it, get used to it. Then add the Chrome extension called Microsoft Bing Search for Chrome and make sure it's enabled in the Chrome browser settings. This will make Bing your default search engine in Chrome. I know it sounds weird. You can also add the Microsoft Bing homepage and search for Chrome extension, which allows for quick access to the Bing homepage by way of a pinned extension. And finally, you can install the Microsoft Bing smartphone app on your phone or the Skype app by scanning the QR code displayed on the screen. Download one or both of them and then sign in on your phone. So after I did all this, I began using Microsoft Edge all the time on both my personal laptop and my CNET issued MacBook Pro. And after a couple of days of doing this, I received an email from Microsoft Bing saying, you're in. Welcome to Microsoft Bing with a link to chat now. Click on chat now and you'll be asked to open in Microsoft Edge if you're using another browser. If you start off in Microsoft Edge, you'll be taken directly to the Bing AI chat feature where you'll be asked to choose a conversation style. Here are the options starting with the default setting which is called More Balanced. Hover over it and the description reads, responses are reasonable and coherent. Okay, so I enjoy someone who's both reasonable and coherent, so what else do we got? More creative is explained to be original and imaginative, two traits that I also enjoy. And finally, more precise, which is described as factual and concise, prioritizing accuracy. So I'm a creative guy, I make videos for a living, so I'm gonna choose more creative. Now you have 2,000 characters to ask Bing AI a detailed question, and you can pin the question so it sticks on the page reminding you of what you were originally talking about. Bing has search and chat, and you can easily toggle between the two by scrolling up and down using your mouse. The search page looks very familiar with search options for images, videos, maps, news, and more, and looks almost identical to Google search and other search engines. If you're using Bing search within Microsoft Edge, you can use the Bing Discover button on the right-hand side, which allows more context to a website, summarizing the page in a more digestible way. Now, I started using Bing AI for very simple work tasks, like requesting a list of keyword tags for YouTube for a video I'm optimizing. I asked it about the Sacramento Kings and some other random stuff. Then I started to ask what kind of cool stuff could it do? Bing responded saying it could do cool creative things like write poems, essays, songs. I did a double take and I asked Bing, can you produce music? Bing responded and said it can only write song lyrics. So I asked Bing to write a song about our website, cnet.com, and try to make it funny, and it did not disappoint. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one. Let us know in the comments what you're using Bing for, and thanks for watching. Without further ado, here's CNET's new theme song written by Bing AI. If you wanna know about tech, there's only one place to go. It's CNET.com, the internet pioneer that always shows. They review computers and phones and cars with a tech perspective. They have a digital newsroom that's always active. CNET.com, CNET.com, they're the best place for tech news and reviews. CNET.com, CNET.com, they're here to help you become your own hero.